So next, a shift right click to select the cursor here. Uh, come here and again, a cylinder. This is good. Or maybe we can press for the vertices. And from here, reduce. Decrease the radius and depth. Right, so. It's okay. Okay, so we press again G and X. Come here. And S, Z. It's okay. So press tab. Three for to get access to the face. Select one, two, three. As you can see, one, two, three. Three is for face mode. So press I, or I told you simply come here and press I. My shortcut is I. I, and press E inward. Extrude it inward. Like so. Press one. See, this is here. So we can even we turn off professional editing. G and again X. Okay, now. This is gonna be our pan to stick something inside it. So come here, shade the smooth. Uh, and now what we have here that's okay we come here press one or two of these guys and and shift s cursor to select it it will come here exactly at the, this point so we come here to the viewport overlays make sure that it is uh, face orientation is correct everything is correct but these uh, red colors the blue is okay so i come here and grab those i grab this you see i grab this legs press tab and a to select everything press alt n if you press alt n so you can uh, click here, flip it. And as well, come here, select those part. So we, we have here, uh, and again, hold down shift and click. When you, when you click, so you see that one or two edge you are selected. So go to the solid mode and press while you selected one edge or one face so press l to select the rest and here we see some issue hold down shift and drag hold down shift and left drag we selected everything uh, right click oh i'm sorry alt and n press alt n you can come here, flip or recalculate outside. If you press those, it will do the same job. But you have to, and sometimes you need to press that guy and flip. And in sometimes, uh, in some case, uh, you have to need press recalculate outside. So come here again, press L to select everything. Again, hold down shift and press one face and press then L. Come here, press L. Again, hold down shift, press L. Hold down shift, left click and press L. And Alt N to recalcul recalculate outside. So, we make it a little bit smaller smaller until we get this chair under the floor so as well as here press 
press uh, hold on shift and only click alt and flip in this case what we have you see this is a kind of overlapping so press tab and a to select all of our wall this is overlapping you can fix this kind of issue when you are selecting all your meshes and then press M and this is merge as center cursor collapse and here down you have by distance if you press here you can see here some uh, numbers press M and by distance remove no vertices but you can come here and for example increase or decrease this guy so well, what we get no vertices removed zero which is but in sometimes you have to do you have to do it like that because many vertex is overlapped on each other but here we haven't so we can fix this guy by go to the press uh, F and X and delete face as well as here no not that that one if you double click you see if you click again this means that you selected this guy and not the under and if you press again you selected uh, that small uh, rectangle so now this is fixed without those select alt and flip okay so everything is okay we press save Control S for save. We can Control Shift A, uh, Shift S to save a copy of your project. For example, now I call this project modeling, not from part two until we get finished. So everything that I'm uh, telling you about this house and its entire so this is right here inside of this modeling part and later you're gonna get it. so shift s for make a copy of your project or you can come here save or save as save copy and so on in the future i will uh, tell you about those as well open project new project you come here press general or if you're later working on an FA uh, VFX you click here video editing and so on. so we go to our job press S scale it up a little bit press GZ so now this is our pan i come here press again this guy works well but in a very small and a little bit of depth and okay that's enough in this case I want to rotate it in for example X now it's in bounding box if you click here individual origin and instead of glo global come here and set it on local you see that its origin has changed in a Separate uh, in different way and local
on local. So we turn it back. Ninety type ninety. We go here from the type, press shift and wireframe mode. So we grab this. We press again S and S and Z. Make it smaller by S. Okay, we look from the behind. Okay, grab this and uh, S to scale it in the axis. Okay, so press tab, come here to the ver uh, press to, to the edge. We grab those and and um, we apply all transform press control a scale again go to the tab press control b or from here bevel control b for bevel uh, scroll up and down to get uh, more loop cuts Okay, and come from the top, look from the top S and in X axis. And we got something like that. Shade ethmos and auto ethmos. So we connect those together by holding and uh, by holding shift and click the next and control G so those are connected right now our our pan is very big so I make it smaller press 1 to see the floor of our table okay and Z to wireframe G, grab it, let it here, put it here. So 